a woman found a cracked egg and decided to investigate. After realizing what was inside, she decided to keep it. Susan Hickman loved to go on walks. Like many other people, Susan thought of walking as the perfect activity for winding down or relaxing. During one morning, while Susan was going on one of her regular excursions, she ended up coming across something unexpected. On the ground, there appeared to be an egg. The first thought that had come into her head was that this egg belonged to a bird. Susan noticed that the object was all by itself. Even more worrisome was the lack of a bird in the area. However, other than Susan and the egg, there was no one else around. Susan bent down to pick it up. The egg was a small thing, only a little bit more than a few inches. But the most noticeable aspect of this little object wasn't its size. As soon as Susan took the egg into her hands, she noticed that the shell had gone through some damage. The large crack that broke the shell of the egg suggested that it had fallen from a considerable height. Susan looked up at the trees, the broken thing in her hands, but she could see no nest. She looked down back at the egg. Bringing it up closer to her face, Susan observed the crack. The broken shell had caved in a little, exposing something inside. Her eyes scanned the contents as she angled the egg slightly. It was at this moment that Susan noticed movement coming from inside. It was slight and the average person might have missed it, but Susan caught it. There was a chick inside the egg, and it was alive. Susan was relieved. In spite of the harm that could have befallen the solitary animal, it was lucky enough to have survived. Although she was already careful when holding the egg, this newfound discovery made her even more cautious. The tiny chick was beginning to move a little bit more, and Susan was excited to see what was going to happen next. Suddenly, the egg cracked even further, and a chick was being born. Albeit strange-looking, the baby bird was hatching in her very hands. Susan couldn't believe it. She watched, amazed at the way the tiny creature broke free from the shell. It made chirping noises as it moved around in Susan's warm palm. She had never imagined she would ever experience such a rare sight. Once the wonder passed, Susan began to feel panic setting in. The baby bird was without a mother, without any guidance or support. It was vulnerable and in no position to be able to help itself. Although she initially felt a need to return the baby chick to the wild, perhaps dropping it into the nest it came from, she knew she wouldn't be able to go through with that plan. She had already looked around briefly and noticed that there was no other bird in sight. This meant that if Susan left the bird back where she found it, she was subjecting the poor creature to a harsh fate. There was only one choice that was clear to Susan. She had to bring the baby bird into her life. Susan was going to be the little bird's surrogate mother. She was the one who found the bird's egg, and now it was too late for her to turn a blind eye. And so, Susan walked back to her house, a new companion snuggled up in her palms. When Susan returned to her home, the first thing she did was attempt to make an incubator for the little bird. Babies often need warmth when they've just come into the world, and this newborn chick was no different. Looking after a bird was completely new ground for Susan. She had never had experience caring for any feathered creature, but she also wasn't a quitter. Feeling the weight of her responsibility, Susan tried her best to give the baby bird everything that it needed. This is composed of the necessities, such as food, water, and shelter. Susan decided to reach out to friends or acquaintances that did have some experience with birds. Although a few of her friends had done some bird rehabilitation before, their advice to Susan was worrying to say the least. Susan was unhappy with what her friends were telling her, and so she put her phone down soon after. It turned out that baby birds, especially ones that have been abandoned from their parents or separated from their nest, live harder lives. In fact, their survival rate was an incredibly low number. Nevertheless, Susan refused to accept this answer. If you were in Susan's shoes, what would you do? As previously mentioned, Susan was not one to give up on things. This applied especially to friendships and relationships. She may not have known the baby bird for long, but she already felt attached to it. Part of her understood what everyone told her, but a larger part of her was stubbornly committed to the creature. The following day, Susan checked up on the fledgling and was glad to see that it was still alive. Since the bird was now under her care, she thought of giving it a name. In order to match its fighting spirit, Susan decided to name her new bird Klinger. Although Susan was more than ready to become the bird's caretaker, she would soon come to learn that birds are a demanding animal. One of the most surprising things about chicks is that they have a large appetite. In fact, they need to be fed around every 30 minutes. The baby never missed a meal and was always hungry, explained Susan. With all of this feeding, the bird was bound to start growing. Soon enough, Susan noticed the creature increasing in size. Even more exciting than this was the sight of dark feathers, which had begun to peek out from Klinger's pink skin. Nevertheless, there was still the mystery of what specific bird breed he was. 
After a bit more time, Susan would be able to finally find out. Susan was aware that different bird species have different requirements. Not being able to tailor every specific need was the main problem with not knowing what kind of bird Klinger was. However, Susan tried her best to be the best mother, and she found the experience more than rewarding. Caring for Klinger was unlike anything she had ever done before, and she knew that it was something she would hold dear in her memories for the rest of her life. One of the many milestones included the first time that Klinger opened his eyes. Even though they had now spent several days together, Klinger had freshly hatched from his egg and was thus unable to open his eyes. When he finally saw Susan for the first time, he wasn't looking at just any random human, but at his surrogate mother. After one year, the bird had changed drastically in its appearance. Susan was pleasantly surprised to see that the little strange-looking chick she once held in the center of her palms was now a full-fledged adult bird. Klinger had grown out all his feathers and had more than doubled in his original size. Once he had reached this stage, Susan was finally able to realize what exactly he was. It turned out that Klinger was a starling. Susan had grown very attached to Klinger and the bird felt the same. However, the bond they shared was deeper than she had first predicted. Birds are one of the many animals that imprint. Imprinting means that as soon as an animal is born, it forms an attachment to the first thing that they see. Usually, the object of their attention is their natural caretaker, their mother. In this case, Klinger had imprinted on Susan. Although Susan originally planned to release the bird back into where it first came from, the wild, her plans fell through as soon as she realized the implications of imprinting. Klinger associated with humans and would never be attached to Susan. Fortunately for Susan, having a starling as a pet was not only legal, but it was the normal thing to do. This meant that Susan could forever keep Klinger under her care. Klinger seemed to have no problem with this turn of events. He was lucky enough to be found by Susan because she had saved his life, but now he also basked in her love, which she gave freely. Beyond being safe and well-fed, there was not much else he could have asked for. As of June 2015, Susan decided to share her story online. She turned to YouTube, creating and uploading a video which detailed the events of the past year. Who knew that the wild journey that Susan would end up on would all start with an egg? If you enjoyed the story, remember to leave a like down below and subscribe for more videos like this one. I hope to see you again soon.